All right, cool. So you click start. It's going to ask you what your content is about. Are you a photographer? You do. Is it a personal website? Um, is it, are you a musician? Is it professional services? Right. So I'm going to I'm going to do this for myself. So I'm going to pick uh, personal slash bio and design. This is just for Squarespace. It has nothing to do with your actual site. I think they're just gathering data about who's using their product. All right. What are my goals? I want. I okay. Maybe I'll sell some physical products. I'm going to grow engage my audience. Um, it's not a physical business. I want to publish content. You know, showcase a portfolio of my work, and yeah, content. Click next. Okay, so this this is the first part where you're going to actually start adding stuff to your website. Site description. What is this? Check this out. Hope nothing embarrassing of me pops up when I Google myself. So this part right here. This is the site description, right? When you see my site on Google, that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna see uh, from what you type in right here on site description. You can change it later. There's a way to change it, um, but it's important to have it. Don't leave it blank because you know on Google people are gonna find you and they want to have a basic description. So I'm actually just gonna copy and paste that to save some time. And I'm gonna mention a couple. Uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts if you're not familiar with them just to save you some time as well um, I'm not sure what you're using I'm using a MacBook Pro so I'm going to talk MacBook translate it to Windows if you're a Windows person so I'm going to command V and click next okay what's my site title what's your site title your name might be your business type it in Done. cool so this is Squarespace for those who have not seen it before. Those who have seen it before, you know how awesome it is because it's super duper simple. There's not a lot going on. It's very, very user-friendly, the UX. They spent a lot of time building this thing and that's why I love it. So what you see on the right-hand side is what your audience sees. That's why they call it a WYSIWYG, right? So this is our basic template. You can kind of see the similarities, right? From uh, the original stock version to my current site. I love this template. I think it's really classy. Um, you can also change like, I put my site title in the top left corner and then the menu over here. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you see a couple different things. You see pages, you see design, commerce, analytics, settings, and help. Let's check pages out. So this is where you're gonna see the content of your website. Um, you're gonna see that they all have this word demo next to it. Uh, you don't have to use this content but it's helpful to start with that if you don't have really much to work with and you want to kind of fill in the blanks. So if I want to create uh, this page and keep it, well, I'll get to that in a second. Let's look at the rest of it. We have main navigation, which is actually on this template is over on the left-hand side. Secondary navigation, which on this template is on the right-hand side. Not every template has main and secondary navigation, so don't worry about that because um, you can reorder things around. Some of the secondary navigation is like in the footer sometimes. Um, this actually has a footer navigation section. That's why I love this template. It's new, and so it has all these different bells and whistles that I can use. Not linked. This is kind of important. So anything that's in this section is a live page, but it's not in the main navigation up here. That's where you would put pages that you don't want in your navigation, but you still want them live. Like like my website training web, uh, uh, my website training page. I have it in a not linked. And I'll show you the back end uh, once we get to my site. But yeah, so you can look through all these. This their different icons mean different things. So this is an index, which means it's an accumulation of a bunch of different pages. So you can see it looks like one long continuous page, but it's actually just like a bunch of little pages glued together. Indexes are very common for a home page, so let's create it. So we click the gear icon. And it says modifying demo content. To edit this content, you need to create this page first. Okay, let's create it. So you got to go through that for each page. It's going to bring up like the page itself and the back end. So this is this is what the back end looks like. It says uh, navigation title, which is what you see on the actual navigation bar. The page title, which is what you see up here. This is the page title. It's, these can be different. I can make this welcome and I can be like, hi. Are you? 
um, the description. Again, this is what you see in Google. The URL slug, this is important that you keep this very consistent because when you see a website, right? Let's go to my about, nicaroco.com forward slash about. The way you edit that is through this, changing the URL slug. However, if you create your whole site and then you go through and you change all your URL slugs, it's gonna break the links um, that are currently linking to that. So you're gonna have to keep track of where, what you're linking to. And if you ever change this URL slug, you're gonna have to go back and fix that yourself. That's an important point. You can make any page on your website password protected. So you could type in a password and people can only access that if they type in this password, which is pretty cool. Really, that's literally what you do to make password protected web page. You can make your whole site password protected, which I'll show you how to do as well. Um, yeah, okay. Then if you want to make this the home page, which I definitely do, I'm going to click set as home page, but it's already set as the home page, so it's good to go. If you want to make your reservations page your home page, you can do that. You just go to the edit and set to home page. Let's create the rest of this content real quick. You know what? I'm actually going to delete all this and I'm going to do it from scratch like I promised. So you can just delete them simply by hovering over the, the trash icon and clicking confirm. Be careful because you can easily, I've done it before, worked a long time on a website and then deleted a page accidentally. It was the worst. All right, let's get rid of all this. I prefer doing this just because I've done it for a while. Um, but again, I would highly recommend beginners to use the template pages and fill in the blanks because it's difficult to get things to look like how you want if you don't know how to do it yet. So, but if you're doing it from scratch with me, here's how you do it. Let's click add a section. This is adding a section to the index. First, let's see actually what kind of pages you can make. So to make anything on Squarespace, you can either make a page, products. This is how you create your online store, which we're gonna get to. Cover page, we're also gonna get to that. A folder, which is a drop down menu. Album. I have a couple musicians out there listening right now. Um, one guy, Alexander, he's in the in a band looking to make a, a a website for his band. This is how you'd make an album page, which is pretty cool. Index, like we talked about, the squished up version of a bunch of hip pages together. A blog. You literally create create a blog by clicking this button. That's it. Uh, same with an event calendar. You click that button and you have an event calendar. Gallery, this is for the photographers out there, especially um, different ways to showcase the gallery. This is the best way to do it. And a link. If you want to make like a link up here, but not an actual page, you can do that through this. You can do it to an external site. You can do it to your own site. There's ways, ways to do that. Let's just make a page. Okay. I'm going to call this intro. Right. So <clears throat> when you make a when you make a new page on Squarespace, they have made it very, very simple for you uh, if you're not used to creating content from scratch, right? So maybe I wanna make this like an about, right? So I click about, you can hover over, you can see all these different, you have about, contact, details, features. So on the about, if I was to choose this one, it shows you that it starts with text right here, an image and text content there with the social media button below. Maybe I want this layout right here. It makes it for you so like if i want to start with this i would start like this start editing there's an image here i would click add image it would bring up my computer and i can add an image there if i want there's the text block there already ready to go with a header we're gonna talk about what those are um but yeah the, what i want to get across is that when you're starting from scratch use that template <clears throat> excuse me uh, okay, let's go back to that intro. Okay, pick a template. I'm not going to right now. I'm going to start editing it as a blank from scratch thing. And cool, 